So I woke up at four again this morning because uh, I knew I'd be hiking on this road and um, man, I'm really loving that. Like just getting to watch the whole change of the sky. I am cowboy camping down by the um, lava flows. I don't know if you can tell. Um, rock it's all around me. I'm at the uh, the lava flow now in between Pie Town and Grant and uh, this is incredible. I think you can kind of see like how it might have gushed out like and cool to form all of this really beautiful rock. I can't believe things can grow on this. Um, I guess it's just, you know, how islands work, so it shouldn't be too surprising, but this is incredible. Um, kind of had a late start this morning too. It was like kind of, kind of chilly, and I didn't want to get out of my sleeping bag. It wasn't like a late start. It was just that I woke up at four thirty and couldn't get back to sleep. So I was like, oh, might as well get ready. But I didn't start hiking until like six. Oh, this is fun. I love this. Okay, I've been passing by a lot of, like they're called Ciro's on the map, um, like Ciro de Brillante, and those are really cool looking, but those are really picture -like. I think that's one way over there, or those are a few. that one's called but it's just like a mountain that sort of has like a scoop out of it um assuming at the moment and i'm gonna have to check later that those are craters left by old volcanoes So I'm standing uh, on the edge of the inside of the bowl part of a cerro. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool. I wonder if it was a, it doesn't look like a, I really can't wait to find out what happened here. seeing four but there might be a fifth one wow okay I should quit bothering them they got stuff to do <laughs> Love a sign that says Continental Divide. Really, uh, just shows where I'm at. Yeah, you know, uh, road walks aren't my favorite thing, but that, that kind of makes it nice. It's like, yeah, I'm here doing, doing that thing. pretty road to be on. Alright, I'm standing on the rim of this El Calderon uh, cinder cone. 
Wait, it's kind of hard to see isn't it, from here. Maybe it'll get to a better view, better uh, viewpoint on the other side. Um, see this beautiful plane just stretches out. Wow. There's cliffs way over there. Oh my gosh. I hope I get to go there. That's gorgeous. Oh, you know what? I think I do. I think I saw that on the map. That's on the far edge of my day today. I'm just trying to show more of this. And on this crater. This is a really well built trail though. This is this is swanky. Ooh, butterfly. This is Bat Cave. A lava tube where um apparently anywhere from one thousand to over a hundred thousand bats live. I wish I could just stick around and watch them fly out, but it's time to go. I need to spend more time where bats are. They're, uh, they're in a lot of trouble right now. That hole with the um, fungal disease. This has been a real neat little uh, side tour. I've got miles to me. Places to be. Probably not people to see, but definitely things to do. <laughs> oh no, this is a cave. Oh my gosh, it is deep. Oh, and I don't think. Is this another one? Do they link? Oh my I can't um I think I see the bottom of it yet. Yeah I do. Wow, it's just kinda like right there. I guess this is a lava tube. A lava lava tube. Yeah. You can check out that sign of it. Alright, that is, I mean, it's already worth it, but that's just icing. What does this say? No things accurate. Good name for it. Walking through lava fields and I kicked another cactus. That's okay, cause this time I'm wearing shoes that aren't sandals. This is a real scrungly, I don't know if you can tell me this all like loose rock lava field. It's a, it's a bit of a doozy. So cool though, I mean like, check this stuff out. Back into some real lava flows. And there's some beautiful dusty flowers. It's, uh, it's been a good morning. Here's where like a stream of lava was that you can see like where the, where the folds and creases and where it split apart. Oh gosh, I did not like that. And I am digging this lava flow though. Um, it's, it's been so much fun. 
Um, just like a really interesting like place to walk and so much to life. All those little cactuses with all their little flowers. Um, it's definitely like a little slower going, but not everything needs to be fast. I would be on a road walk if I wanted to be fast or too fast. Um, yeah, these cairns kind of also blend in with their surroundings really well, which makes them a little bit harder to like see and to know where I'm going and that's okay. I'll figure it out. I just kind of like go in what I assume is the right direction sometimes. <laughs> But lately there's been so many of them that even though I might not see all of them, I'll, I'll find one eventually. Oh. cliffs and cool little lava tubes and caves all the way around. Here's the cairn I'm standing right next to. I should find the next one. It's such a beautiful, beautiful spot though. I'm so impressed by all this green everywhere. I would never have known that this was like just pure rock pretty much unless you find some amount of dirt in the cracks oh gosh i need to throw away my phone okay now i'm gonna study in a place to do that Ooh, a cave can you see that on this camera little lava tube just hanging out Lava. Pretty wild place. Every time I step over one of those crosses, I get like a, like a little sense of vertigo or something. Which is super, like it's, honestly, it makes it more fun. Um, but, you know, it's just a surprise because it's like, nothing bad's gonna happen. I'm not gonna lose my footing, but um, anyway, it's just neat. It's just really fun to hike here. <sighs> Vertigo's not the right word. It's like, just like my stomach drops a little bit. These are called evening primrose. Um, they don't really only bloom in evening, morning, like early morning, late evening, it's about the sun angle. I guess I'm here early enough to see them, so that's kind of nice, they're so pretty. Pretty road walk. There's so many beautiful cliffs. Oh, wow.